Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figma tutorial. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at creative text animation. So as you can see on your screens, you can see if you uh, take a look at where my mouse is hovering over here, the texts are, this is an effect that's called auto typing. So it looks like the text is being typed as we're looking at it and then being erased and then changed into another word. So the first it reads, simple simplify your finances make payments easier and then after removing the text it changes back to faster so today we're going to take a look at how we can get this done without any further ado let's get started hello everyone i'm Faim kamal ui ux designer for essential web apps we regularly upload videos on wordpress figma website and social media strategies and web design and development topics if you find our videos to be helpful and informative then please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon for new video notifications. If you like this video, please hit the like and share button. We also have both free and paid courses on Figma. Check out the description box for the links to the courses. Without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Alright, so here's our project file. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this homepage design. So let's just make another copy over here. And once we have the copy, let's just change the height. So we just want the top section over here. Now, the first thing that I need to, you, you all to realize is that there are two parts of the text. So first we have the static part. So this is basically, if you go back to the uh, demonstration, so this is this part that is not changing. So this is the static part. And after that, we have the dynamic part, the text where it's changing. So first we're going to make one text over here. So this is one text box. And then we have a different text box over here. So how do we create this? So let's keep it in this place for now. And we're going to come to the side and we're just going to create a, to create a new text box. So we're just going to select the text tool. And we're just going to start typing. So once we have the text down, next thing that we want to do is we want to select the rectangle tool. So it's the R on your keyboard. We're just going to make a rough drawing and send it to the back. And if you don't know how to do that, you simply press the left bracket on your keyboard or you can right click on it. And from here, you can select over this one, send to back. Now what we're going to do is, so let's select the text box and we're going to take a note of the dimensions. So this is 202 pixels wide and 66 pixels is the height. So let's just select the rectangle and let's change the height to 66 pixels. And let's just make this 200. Uh, 20 for now so once we have that let's set it centered we want to select the rectangle and then simply start changing the size of it manually like this and we just want to put the right edge in between the E and A and we're going to take the left edge and select it and move it this way as well so this looks about right. So once we have that done, we're going to select both of them and we're going to make a mask out of this. So we're going to select the masking tool. And once it has been masked, so now you can see that I can, we can only see the E. And that is because if we move, the, uh, if we see in the mask group, this is the rectangle. So if I select the rectangle and change its size, you can see the uh, longer it gets, the more we can see the text. So let's undo that. So we'll start over here. Now we're going to select the line tool and that's the L on your keyboard. So that's the shortcut and we're just going to hold down shift. So this is a straight line and just draw a line. So once we have the line, we're just going to select the width to 66 pixels because that's our height. And once that's done, we're going to select this as a, we're going to select the line and the rectangle, the mask group, and then we're going to align right. And we're also going to align top. So now this is properly aligned. Now once that's done, we're going to select all of this, uh, the line and the masking group, and we're going to create a component out of it. So we can either use the keyboard shortcut, that's command sh uh, option K, or we can select it from here. So let's make a component out of it. So now once it's made into a component, let's just quickly rename it. All right, so now that we have that, we want to make some variations of it. So if, we, if you remember, the original text is easier. So that's like, those are six letters. So we're going to make, first we're going to add just one variant. 
and we're going to make six copies of it. So if you remember, that's because that's how many letters we have. So we already have two. Now, once we have the six times ready, so the reason we need six times is you're going to see right now. So we're going to select the second one. So first, we have the E. And actually, let's, uh, I made a small mistake. So we need to change the color of the line as well. And once that's done, we're going to select the second variant and we're going to go into the left hand side layers panel. First, we're going to select the line and then we're going to hold down the command button and select only the rectangle. So we just want to select the rectangle, rectangle and the line. Once that's done, we're going to come uh, onto a design board and we're simply going to start bringing this to the right hand side. So we just want to show the A over here. And from here, we're just going to repeat this process for each of the variants. And we're simply going to make sure that one more of the letters is showing. Now, once we have that done, now remember that we also want the text to be deleted one by one because we want to change it into another text. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select the other way around. So first we're going to select this one because after this, we want to go back to this one. So we're going to select this one and we're just going to uh, we're just going to press command D on our keyboards and that will simply make a duplicate of the selection. And then we're also going to make uh, similar duplications for all of this one. We're, we're just going to do it backwards this time. Now once that's done, we're going to select the last one and we're going to make another duplicate of it. So this time, let's uh, we're going to increase the boundary box and just so we can see the text. Gonna select the text box and update it into the second word. So the second word was faster. And once that's done, we're gonna select the line and the rectangle too. And then we're just gonna decrease the size so only the F is visible. And once that's done, then we're simply gonna make more duplications of this. So we have F A S T E R, so another six words. So we need five more copies since we already have the F. Once that's done, we're going to start over the process like the easier. So we're simply just going to add one more letter each time. And once that's done, we simply want to repeat the process in the reverse as well, because we want to delete this as well and connect this back to easier. easier. And only this time, we want to add another step. So we're going to make one last copy of this. And this time in this variant, we're simply going to select the line and the rectangle and then decrease it in such a way that nothing is visible at all. So this should be null like this. So we're not going to make the F visible as well. So that's because we want it to completely vanish before the E appears. So now we have our text ready. The only part that's left is to prototype this into the animation. So we're going to start with the E and we're going to go into the prototyping tab. And we're simply just going to add an interaction. And the interaction is going to be, it's not going to be on click, it's going to be after delay. Let's just set the delay to, let's say 300 milliseconds. So that should be enough. And let's change it. Uh, this is going to be changed to, so this is going to change to another property. So first we have this, so this is default. And then we want to change this to variant two. And we want to set the animation to instant. So you want to go down to this selection menu and select instant. And this is, ex this is exactly the same interaction that we're going to set for all of this. So E is going to be go to EA, then EA is going to EAS and so on and so forth. We're going to connect all of this serially and we're going to use the exact same settings for all of them. Now, once we have done all of these, for the last one, we're simply going to circle it back. So we're going to select this and we're going to circle it back, circle it back to the first one, E. And we're going to set the same parameters for this one as well. Now, once all of this is done, we just need to, we just need to make two more adjustments. So for the full words where it's completely written for, so this is the easier and the faster, the complete word, we're going to select them. And on their interaction, so you see this here, so we have 200 milliseconds, so we're going to change this back to 2000 milliseconds, that's about two seconds. 
That is because we want the complete text to be visible for at least two seconds so that it can be read properly. So we're going to do the same for faster as well. So once this is visible, we want it to stay visible for two seconds at least. And you can obviously play around with the times yourself. So you can set different after delays as you seem fit. But this is how I chose to do it. And you can play around and see how you like it better. So now once that's done, what we want to do is we want to simply make a copy of our first E. So this is our first variation of our. So we're going to select this and make a copy. And we're just going to make a duplicate copy of this one. So we're going to hold down the option key. And while the holding down the option key, we're just going to drag it this way. Now we're simply going to use this E as our ground and we're just going to line it up properly. So once we have it lined up, we're going to just cut it. So that's Command X. And once it's cut, we're going to select the background D and we're just going to get rid of it. Just select it and press delete. And then we're going to paste the one that we already have, we just created. So this one. So once that's done, now let's just simply select the home page and go into presentation mode and see if this works properly. So as you can see, the demonstration is working properly. So the text is being generated automatically and it looks like it's being typed and it's then deleted and being changed. So I see one issue though, that after it goes to the last part of E, it quickly changes into faster. So let's take a look into that. So this interaction over here, so E to F. The reason is, so the thing that happened here that we do not have any space over here. So we should actually make a duplicate copy of this one. And this one should sit between these two. Actually, let's just set it to one side and go into the prototype tab. And this one's all right. We just want to select this one and we just want to move the arrow from here. We just want to select this and we want to move it to the other one. Now, once that's done, just want to go into the design tab and select this one. We want to select the rectangle. So in the very, this is the last variation. So we want to select the line and the rectangle tool again. We just want to make everything invisible again. So this should fix it. This should work now. So I just uh, forgot to include this into the steps. So let's go back to the presentation mode and let's take a look. So yeah, this is going well so far. And yes, now it's working correctly so i hope you guys learned a few things and you guys had fun learning it so this will be all for today please subscribe to our channel there will be a lot more of resourceful videos to come and also check out our figma free course as well as our paid course if you're interested into becoming an ui ux designer thank you all and i'll see you guys back on the next video